6.31 a.m. Eastern as they would launch on the uh, SpaceX Dragon, a newly named Grace spacecraft on a Falcon 9 rocket from launch pad 39A at NASA's Kennedy Space Center and would chase down the International Space Station earlier this morning at 5.31, nearly two hours ago, 5.31 a.m. Central. 6.31 a.m. Eastern, a little bit more of a day's transit. Eastern and then uh, SpaceX, Dragon arrival, arrival configuration is complete. Houston copies. SpaceX copies. Continuing to target a welcome ceremony or welcome remarks in the near future at 8.35 a.m. Central Time. So a little bit more than an hour from now is Axiom Mission 4 and the International Space Station continuing to work through hatch opening procedures. But getting close, you can start to see a little bit of a window of opportunity that was just on the other side of Ashon and McLean and Nicole Ayers there as they are working on IMV ducting mixing the air of the uh, station and dragon and lithium hydroxide at cartridges stowage and swapping out So Anne McLean and Nicole Ayers are starting to clear out the hatchway, and we are going to see the first views of Axiom Mission 4, Commander Peggy Whitson, the first one across the A-Pass hatch, receiving great big hugs from Nicole Ayers and the Expedition 73 crew. Axiom at Mission 4, welcome aboard the International Space Station. Pilot Shibanshu Shukla is the next one to come across, representing ISRO. It is his first space flight for Peggy Whitson, her return to the International Space Station on her fifth flight, second as a member of Axiom Space. Sławo Szuznanski Wisniewski of ESA, representing the nation of Poland. And their first visit to the International Space Station is next to cross the hatchway. And warm hugs all around. And applause breaking out here inside of Mission Control Houston and International Space Station Flight Control Room. And Tibor Kapu, the fourth and final member of Axiom Mission 4, representing Hunor and the nation of Hungary. Their first visit to the International Space Station as well. Great big hugs and handshakes across all members of Expedition 73 and Axiom at Mission 4 is Anne McLean and Nicole Ayers of NASA along with Johnny Kim, Kirill Peskov, Sergei Rizhikov and Alexei Zubritsky of Roscosmos and Takuya Onishi, commander of Expedition 73 and of JAXA with handshakes and hugs for Peggy Whitson, Shubanshu Shukla, Swavo Shuznanski, Vishnevsky, and Tibor Kapu. And with their arrival to the International Space Station, that now makes 288 visitors to the orbiting laboratory.
Axiom Mission 4 is now aboard the International Space Station. Commander Peggy Whitson in her return to the orbiting laboratory, her fifth flight. Three is a member of NASA and her second as commander of Axiom, an Axiom Space private astronaut mission, commander of Axiom 2 and here of Axiom 4. Regaling the crew with smiles and stories to her left, or our left from her viewpoint to her right. Svavo Shuznansky Vishnievsky of ESA, Shubanshu Shukla to her left of ISRO, and Tibor Kapu on that far right hand side of our viewpoint. The crew is safely aboard the International Space Station. Welcome again to Axiom Mission 4. And we are continuing to target a formal welcome remark from the crew and being joined by the Expedition 73 team as well. That'll be at approximately 8.35 a.m. Central Time. And from there, they will receive a safety briefing and begin their nearly approximately two-week mission aboard the International Space Station in which they will participate in around 60 research investigations representing 31 countries with more than two dozen of those experiments sponsored by the ISS National Lab. And there they all are waving back at our coverage here inside of the International Space Station Flight Control Room. Station Houston on two, thanks for the wave. Great to see everybody. Houston Station, we're happy to be here. It's so great to have, be here finally. It was a long quarantine. We mentioned the space-facing port that is looking up into where the hatchways will be to allow for the Axiom Mission 4 crew to pass through and be brought aboard the International Space Station for Peggy Whitson, commander of Axiom Mission 4, her second flight as an Axiom commander after previously serving as commander of Axiom Mission 2. This is her fifth flight and return to the International Space Station where she continues to build on an impressive career, the most experienced United States astronaut entered the mission with 675 days to her credit and will certainly add to that record-setting total in her time aboard the orbiting laboratory and bringing up pilot Shubanshu Shukla of ISRO, Swavos Uznansky Vishnievsky of Pulsa, and Tibor Kapu of Hunor. And for Shukla Uznansky, Vishnievsky, and Kapu representing India, Poland, and Hungary respectively, for those nations it'll be their first time coming to the International Space Station. Nicole Ayers and the last one into the hatch I believe that was Anne McLean making her way in as they continue to work through hatch opening procedures. In the middle there, that is Expedition 73 Commander Takuya Onishi of JAXA. And then you just momentarily saw NASA astronaut Johnny Kim float in and out of view as the crew working together to continue these procedures, moving around some equipment, and to allow for the access to the APAS hatch. 
after successful vestibule pressurization and checks. And that's the operations that Nicole Ayers is working on right now with Takuya Onishi. And Johnny Kim with camera in hand to document these procedures. And again, just on the other side of this hatchway is where the Axiom Mission 4 crew going through procedures of their own inventory and in doffing their suits that they wore on the uphill ride to their initial orbit. And after an off duty period would put back on for those dynamic phases of flight starting with the approach initiation burn that occurred earlier this morning.